TV. It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. And it is TGI Friday. Celebration is required, right? Thank God. It's in order, I think, Diana. We made it. We made it. We made it. (laughs) We made it. And everybody made it with us. So congratulations, everybody. Much rejoicing. Uh, That's right. We're with uh, Diana Tindall from Modern Day Marketing yet again. Thank you for filling in all week. This will be fun. We've got a bunch to tell you about today. So why don't we get started? I'm ready. Uh, Something is not adding up when it comes to tax money coming in from Springfield's 3% sales tax on marijuana. According to the city, several licensed sellers of marijuana in Springfield are not paying the sales tax on recreational marijuana the way they should. Mm. The city is currently trying to figure out why its actual numbers of tax revenue are far below what was predicted to come in uh, Mm. before it passed. So that's Mm. interesting and worth watching. It's Mm -hmm. the numbers are way down. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Follow the money. Uh, That's right. (laughs) And then there's this, a tornado caught on camera touching down in Joplin yesterday. Did you see that? Uh, There was a camera stationed at the Joplin Regional Airport, uh, and it recorded the phenomenon at about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Uh, There were some homes damaged by high wind in that tornado. Uh, We don't know what the the, uh, National Weather Service is going to rate it, EF1, 2, 3, probably uh, a 1 but Hmm. we'll see what they rate it. But yeah, it was, you could see it right there on camera. It was weird. Always so scary. I feel like those moments, you feel like you're in the movie twister, you know? Right. Well, Missouri voters will likely decide at the polls this November, whether to legalize sports gambling in the state. Uh, The group supporting the idea turned in more than the number of signatures that they needed on a petition to put it on the ballot. The ballot question will ask voters whether they want to let Missouri's 13 casinos and six professional sports franchises uh, offer in-person and online gambling to people 21 and up. So we'll see how... (laughs) We'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's it's so interesting to me that the sports teams are on board with it. Uh, when when I was in, yeah. I went to school. I went to college at UNLV in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. and at the time, uh, sports and gambling like they didn't they didn't mix. There was sports really? gambling at casinos, but you couldn't bet on UNLV. Uh, they were just trying to avoid uh, what could look like it was shady. Yeah, uh, and it's it's weird to me, having lived in Las Vegas, just how how far we've come. It's a complete opposite now, where you, soon you'll be able to. It sounds like bet at the yeah. baseball game, or yeah. at the basketball game, or at the football game. I don't know uh, what they're going to do, but I think it's yeah. huge. It's huge that um, they have like the whole fantasy sports and yeah. the you know people playing it learn the players, and so I can see why that could be a good thing. I mean, I can see how it can be a bad thing with gambling because that's not a good thing because some well, people have a very addictive personality or, or well, nature. That, that's one of the issues. The other thing is it leads to, I mean, money is everybody, everybody's going after money. So yeah, it's yeah. easy for the games to be tainted. Uh, the more prevalent it is, especially when it comes to what are these things called proposition bets. So oh. a proposition bet is a bet you can make on a player Mm-hmm. For instance, uh, I believe this uh, will this player score more or less uh, above or below uh, twenty two points in a game. Now, I, w- I would lose so much money. I wouldn't even know. <laughs> well, but, but the people who do know know, yeah. and the problem is that the player can affect that very easily, <gasps> and so he can be bought. Is that of what course. you're saying? Oh, yeah. That, well, that's already put that together. They just they just uh, threw a, a player out of the NBA for good for doing that exact thing. Uh, okay. So I don't know. It just makes it uh, referees you got you can have problems with. I don't know. I like yeah. it better when you couldn't bet even on UNLV in Las Vegas. <laughs> well, let's turn old, to. Th- I'm an old guy. <laughs> let's let's turn to this. We've uh, told you about uh, speaking of gambling. You know, it can lead to some not good things. But the police department. <laughs> It has 56 open positions that needs uh, they still need to feel, fill, and now they actually have a plan to do it. So that's encouraging. The department says that they want to incentivize jobs with cash, cash bonuses. Uh, officers that transfer from another department would receive a bonus of, get this, 
$10,000. I'm hearing a ton of people transfer right now. (laughs) Um, New recruits would receive $5,000 bonus and uh, each would get the money when they complete training at the academy. Um, The department also wants to reimburse student loans for new officers up to $2,500 a year and $12,500 total. Because obviously city council still has to approve the incentive plan, but uh, sounds like they got a great plan in place. I mean, money talks. So, uh, just like the last story, money talks. You're exactly right. It gets people's <laughs> attention, and, they, and you can uh, get it in a legal way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. So about 700 people gathered in Springfield yesterday to take part in the National Day of Prayer. The Springfield Prayer Breakfast featured author and evangelist Beth Moore. She talked about the importance of prayer to change a community. There were several prayers offered by the large group, each one focusing on different areas of the community, uh, from local to state to federal. All the leaders and law enforcement and and everything was prayed for. Diana was there. I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, And it was a really nice event. It was so neat. Um, I I didn't have any time to really talk to Beth, but I did happened to lend her a pen for uh, (laughs) another person who wanted her book signed. So she has touched my pen. Now I didn't get an autograph. (laughs) I didn't get an autograph, but that was, it was neat. It was neat. And she was ever so pleasant. And I think offered some really encouraging words and obviously prayer. So You've been a Beth Moore fan uh, of her Bible studies and stuff, right? Yeah. I've done several of them and um, she just is like, you're just, she's just like a good girlfriend, you know, that just tells you how it is and breaks down um, scripture and the Bible in a way that it's really easy to understand. So um, makes it practical. So I like it. <laughs> Sarah, has, Sarah's in Egypt or else she would have been there, but she, she's always liked Beth Moore. And on our last trip together uh, last fall, Sarah was listening to her audio book of the book that she actually was yeah. giving out. Yeah. Uh, at the breakfast. And she's such a good storyteller. Beth Moore is. Yeah. That Sarah had me listen to some of it and say, li- listen to just how good she is. And mm-hmm. and she really was. It was my first time really hearing her. Uh, yeah. But she was great, great at the breakfast yesterday. Yeah. It was powerful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Ozark Square could soon get a new building to replace the one that collapsed in December of 2022. An arch- architecture firm called uh, Torgerson Design Uh, has drawn up plans for a a second time now and submitted them to the city for approval. Since the square is in a historic district there, the Ozark Board of Aldermen gets to approve or deny plans for new buildings on the square because they want them to kind of fit the look. Mm -hmm. Uh, The board denied the firm's last attempt, so Torgerson went back and redesigned the two-story building to look more historic and to Mm -hmm. better match the existing buildings on the square. So I think this one, uh, my guess is it will pass because it uh, it's the red brick and it, it mm-hmm. just looks like it fits in a little bit more as a brand new building on the old square. There you go. Well, interest rate is uh, staying put. Again, (laughs) the Federal Reserve refused to lower the interest rate, blaming inflation that remains high. The Fed's kept the key rate at a 20-year high of 5.3%. The inflation rate remains high, as does the interest rate, causing the consumer confidence level to drop again in the month of April. You've heard us talking about this already this week. Yeah, we've had a rough stretch. Yeah. (laughs) And it it continues. Yeah. It continues. Uh, Missouri State's basketball team has also had a rough stretch. They're trying to turn it around. uh, And the new team is beginning to take shape in the first few weeks of head coach Conzo Martin's tenure. Uh, He just signed a six foot seven forward, a six foot five forward this week, making them the sixth and seventh players that he has now signed as head coach again. Uh, So far, the Bears have one player using his final year of eligibility, two incoming freshmen, and four players with two years of eligibility left. So that's good. Mm. Uh, This, of course, is Conzo Martin's second time at the helm of the Bears. He coached three seasons from 2008 through 2011 before leaving to coach at the universities of Tennessee, California, and Missouri. So we're wishing him the best of luck. Yeah, cool. Be fun to watch. Uh, If you love the 80s, and boy, I do, that was my (laughs) heyday era. (laughs) <laughs> decade. Uh, it was so much fun. The music was great. Everything was great in the 80s. Uh, then you need to know about a five-day event that's coming to Branson in August. 
Oh. It's called Retromania Live. And it's five glorious days of 80s music. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, featured performers include Night Ranger, Starship, <laughs> Tiffany, Vince Neal from Motley Crue, Lou Graham from Foreigner, Quiet Riot, Bobby Brown, and others. <laughs> wow. Uh, what also, 80s. 80s covers bands, uh, members only, and the Dirty Saints will also be performing 80s music. And Pauly Shore will be there doing stand up comedy. Buddy. <laughs> right. You remember Pauly Shore? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate that guy. I hate that <laughs> what? guy. He, what did he do to you? I've never liked Pauly Shore. I, I've Was just never buddy? liked him. Probably because he always yeah. kind of looked stones and stoned and uh, yeah, a little too. Yeah, the California thing. Yeah, a uh, too it, didn't, cool. it didn't work for me. I was never a fan. At any rate, he's going to be there. Uh, you can check out tickets at RetromaniaLive.com. Wow. Well, <laughs> we know you'll be there. So <laughs> if you missed uh, the last clean green Springfield junk drop off, well, tomorrow is your day. It is happening from eight to two tomorrow. You can get rid of your bulky items and hard to dispose of junk. Uh, the city will accept tires, mattresses, general trash, and bulky items. Uh, so grab your trash, junk, mattresses, all the things, and take it to 404 North Jefferson in downtown Springfield. Obviously, this is a free service for Springfield residents that makes the city look cleaner. So if you see yeah, that yeah. thing on the side of the road that shouldn't be there, that is a mattress or tires, <laughs> be a good neighbor and just pick it up. And if it's, if it's like, you know, not on someone else's property. <laughs> Take it, take it. Get I was just it. helping you. Your yard's yeah, exactly. a mess. <laughs> Where'd all my stuff uh, go? <laughs> it's amazing how many mattresses you'll see on the road as you're driving. Yeah, it's terrible. It's gross. Yeah. Uh, well, after you drop off your junk, you can go get some fair food at the ninth annual Corn Dog Kickoff at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. Uh, you don't have to wait for the fair to enjoy endless fair food and beverages. <laughs> Uh, that you can taste while enjoying live music, probably some of it from the 80s, if they're lucky. Uh, also there, they will be announcing the lineup for the grandstand stage at the 88th annual Ozark Empire Fair. So that is at the fairgrounds tomorrow. So you can enjoy that. Yeah, there's a lot of really fun events happening this weekend. Oh, my goodness. Also, tomorrow, kids can uh, meet your local first responders at the um, uh, and emergency workers at Rutledge Wilson Farm Park from 10 to 2. We've talked about that already this week. Uh, also happening in a park is Gigs in the Garden uh, this Sunday at 2 p.m. It's a concert uh, that is put on and I think helps Friends of the Garden and Sister Cities. Uh, it is at the Springfield Botanical Gardens at Nathaniel Green Club. Memorial Park. And then um, tonight, May the 4th be with you, right? <laughs> but well, it's May actually 3rd. May 3rd. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, they're, but it's put on by the Library Center. It's happening at 630 tonight. They're doing Star Wars trivia, and I'm sure that's yeah. going to be fun for Star Wars fans out there. And then lastly, we got Cinco de Mayo. So uh, there's Salsa Fest uh, happening at Relic Event Center, I think from one to four. I found all of these events at aroundtheozarks.com. Their calendar is yeah. awesome and it gave me all the info and I'm sure some of these cost money. Some of them are free. So go online to find out more info. Yeah, aroundtheozarks.com is a great place to find out what's happening. That's where we get a lot of our weekend events to tell you about. Uh, you can also do it on the free Around the Ozarks app. And while you're there, you can register mom for a fantastic Mother's Day giveaway that we're doing. We are giving away a $150 gift card for a flower arrangement from the flower merchant. She does a great job putting those flowers yes. together and a $50 gift card to civil kitchen. So flowers and dinner for mom, and it ain't going to cost you a thing, but it's $200 worth. So, so I, you do I, that. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Get your mom registered. I, so it. I was going to tell you, um, I picked up the flower merchant gift certificate to give to this lucky winner today or oh, cool. whatever they're going to give it away. So I have it. I'm going to turn it into the radio station um, to give it to a winner. And I ran into the owner and um, maybe you can give your mom these things. This was new to me. It's called nose gay. Have you heard of nose gay? Nose gay. Nose. I don't believe like it. Nose, I have. Like your nose on your face. 
and gay, like gay. G A G A Y. G A Y. Nose gay. They're like, like happy. The, yeah. Uh huh. Like happy. So it it's a thing with prom now. So instead of like corsages, I mean, you could buy your mom a lot of these if you wanted, but they're like mini bouquets. And I said nose gay. I've I've never heard of that in my life. And he said. <laughs> I, and I had to write this down so I get it right. He said they're small bouquets that the wealthy back way back when would carry around with them as they were walking around so they wouldn't have to smell the stink in the streets or others around them. They would hold up the flowers, the roses to their nose. So they would it would be their nose right under their nose and it would make them so gay and happy. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I, Is that right? It's it's true. I mean, it comes from the guy who makes flower bouquets, so of course it's true. I, but I mean, I ask, that's happening now. They're doing that. They're doing no, that again. I don't think they're doing that now. But oh, okay, like, okay, it, okay. It, it's now trendy. So instead of like corsages, because it's prom season, you know, there's a lot of prom happening. Um, so instead of corsages for girls and ladies out there, it's now the it's now the little bouquets. It's the nosegay. Well, so they are doing it now. They're doing it for high school kids, but they hold it. They hold the the bouquet like a. No, they don't like have to hold it up to their nose like ride. Well, maybe right, if they, the, the guy they're with is stinky. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in some situations, let's face it. But well, that's that's wild that that's You're coming back. Who knew? Body spray. Yeah. Who knows? Who knew? <laughs> you know, when I, I when I was young, it was uh, always get my mom a corsage for Mother's Day because moms loved for whatever reason corsages. I don't know. Oh, yeah. and then when I was in high school for prom and stuff, it was the wrist corsage that became popular because wow. there was no place to pin it <laughs> yeah. anymore. Well, uh, I, I went to school in Texas and they would have my senior year and they would have these huge like sashes. Giant. I'm not even joking. There would be huge sashes filled with these beautiful flowers, like pinned all over. I mean, you're carrying this giant heavy sash filled with flowers. I forget what they were called, but that's been like 24 years ago. So that would be for like a prom situation, like um, kind of graduations. It seems oh, okay. like, yeah, it was just, and, and maybe prom. It's been so yeah. long ago, Ethan. I don't even remember. <laughs> well, everything's bigger in Texas is what they say. So, so there's your word sense. of the day. Yeah. Word of the day. Nose gay. <laughs> Nose gay. Okay. Now I know. Yeah. Uh, as does everybody who uh, enjoys around the Ozarks in five. Uh, speaking of five, we're way above five. So, so sorry. that'll do it for this week and this Friday. Thank you so much for being with us, Diana. Thank you for filling in You're for welcome. Sarah. Lord willing, she'll be back Monday. If uh, Diana's back Monday, we got a problem. <laughs> okay. well, so let's we'll hope she has a good flight. <laughs> we'll fill you in there. Uh, yeah, I hope she has a good flight as well. And, and thank you so much for filling in. We appreciate you. We have fun doing it. And, uh, and, uh, we'll, we'll have you back for sure. Okay. Have uh, a great week. All right. Have a fantastic. There. Yeah. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. And, uh, we'll see you right back here, right and early on Monday. See ya. Bye. It's time for around the Ozarks wake up weather sponsored by scooters, coffee and rescue towing. Here's your host meteorologist, Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody. We are waking up with temperatures near 60 degrees on this Friday. It's going to be another warm one across the Ozarks and we'll have fewer rain chances around today opposed to yesterday when it got kind of soggy for the second half of our Thursday. Temperatures are going to stay mild all weekend long, but today what we have to discuss is unsettled weather for the weekend forecast. I think rain showers are pretty few and far between today. The best shot is seeing some of those is going to happen actually early this morning through about mid-morning, then I think the rain chances really taper off and we should see that partly sunny sky come back into play by the time we get to this afternoon. Temperatures later today, about 76 degrees. Overall, we, yes, we still have a chance for some spot showers and a couple of thunderstorms today, but I think this is about a 20% chance through the daylight hours on Friday. So mainly a dry day across the Ozarks for you. Enjoy it because the rain chances are going to come back into the forecast. I have a chance for rain Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into the early part of next week. We are going to hold on to this unsettled weather.
It's not just the case for us here in the Ozarks. It's much of the central portion of the country. There's this huge stationary boundary kind of draped across the country, a big trough out west. It's driving some of the unsettled weather that we have going on in the middle part of the country, in the plains. And it's also allowing for cool temperatures to stay out on the west coast. Unsettled weather is going to persist into the weekend and to the early part of next work week, as I mentioned. And I think one of the days with the highest percentage of rain, if you're trying to plan out your weekend and you really want to do something outdoors, Saturday likely looks like the best chance for rain across the region. And with all the rain showers, one to two inches that we saw late yesterday into the overnight hours, there could be some places that are still seeing some residual flooding. Our area waterways are high, so keep that in mind if you were looking forward to those activities for the weekend. I think Sunday will be the drier day, but there's still going to be some high water around the Ozarks. I do want everyone to be cautious, and with additional rain in the forecast, we could see some flash flooding take place very quickly. Additional chances for rain are in the forecast on Saturday, and I think they're out there pretty early in the day. We will see that rain break up late in the day on Saturday, and then another chance for rain and storm activity moves in late Saturday night into early Sunday. It'll then be kind of scattered in nature as we head through Sunday afternoon. Temperatures, though, through this time frame, I told you we'd stay above average. I've got numbers generally in the 70s through the entire weekend forecast, High temperature today, about 76 degrees. Best chance for rain for us is going to happen as we head into the early part of the day. And then I think the second half of the afternoon is dry. Friday evening plans, I think they look okay right now. Most will stay dry through this evening. And then we'll see additional chances for rain and storms ramp up very early on Saturday. We'll hold on to scattered showers and thunderstorms through most of the day on Saturday. But in between rounds of rain, you could see some partial sunshine, which will be a nice change of pace. Overnight lows also stay very warm in the forecast. We're talking 50s and 60s tonight and tomorrow night. And then we're in the 60s for lows as we move into Sunday and Monday mornings. High temperatures on Sunday, still in the mid 70s. We could hit 80 by Monday, but we hold on to that rain and storm chance in the forecast as we head into the early part of next week too. Around the country, well, what's making headlines is this unsettled weather for this middle part of the country. We will see active weather over the next couple of days, not just today. An upper level trough is stationed back over to the north and west, and that's going to generate these below average temperatures for much of the Pacific Northwest. I've been telling you the last couple of days about that high elevation snow, and this is going to result in cooler than average temperatures for the northern tier of the country today. So quite active everywhere across the Ozarks. And then we've got some above average temperatures out on the East Coast. Those kind of getting trapped there because of the big trough that I'm watching out West. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister question for the day. Do you know this one? An invention. In 1826, pharmacist John Walker accidentally invented what he called, quote, friction lights. Today, they go by another name. What do you think that is? Do you think friction lights are now A, glow sticks, B, strobe lights, C, sparklers, or D, matches? And the answer, if you chose D, matches, you would be Correct. As I said, in 1826, this was a revolutionary invention. Um, They were developed by John Walker, and his real objective was just to find a way to make fire quickly. So he was trying to uh, uh, stumble upon this, and indeed he did. He covered these wooden sticks in all sorts of elements and sulfur, and then he sold each box with a piece of... um, sandpaper to light the match and ignite it. The price of a box of 50 matches was one shilling. They were folded up together with the matches. Everyone loved it. And we now know them as matches. So D, the answer. Congrats if that was your guest today. Kind of a fun one for Cinco de Mayo. Here's your question that I'll leave you with and have the answer for you early Monday morning next week. What does Cinco de Mayo celebrate? Do you know? Uh, A, the Mexican Independence Day. B, the Battle of Puebla Victory. C, Mexican Constitution Day. Or D, Benito Juarez's birth. 
I will have the answer for you. That's Monday morning on Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. Thanks so much for listening early this morning, and I hope you have a good weekend despite the chance for rain and storms. It won't rain all weekend long, but as I said, I think the best chance is going to occur on Saturday. We'll be dodging rain and storms all weekend, so have the rain gear handy. Make a backup plan if you had anything going on outdoors this weekend. I think a few activities will be able to happen in between the chances for rain and storms that we have. Flash flooding could be an issue with some of the rain that does develop. So use caution this weekend. And don't forget about our Mother's Day giveaway going on at AroundTheOzarks.com. We are treating one special mother this Mother's Day. She will receive a $150 gift card for a flower arrangement provided by the flower merchant and a $50 gift card to civil kitchen. So moms or uh, somebody that wants to gift your mom, head on over to around the Ozarks.com. Click on contest. You'll find it there. It's free to enter. Why not spoil mom with mother's day coming up? Everybody have a great weekend. I'll chat with you again on Monday morning.